Hi guys, it's Cornish Kayak Angler here. In today's video, I'm going to quickly run through how to wire up one of these. It's a super seal connector. These are great little waterproof wire connectors. Uh, can be used for 12 volt and 20 volt systems, widely used in automotive electrical systems, but also have marine applications as well. So it can be incorporated into boat electrics and uh, for what I use them for, kayak electrics. So I incorporate these into uh, the power lead on a, on a fish finder setup. Uh, and you may have seen that in my previous fish finder installation videos. So in today's video, I'm just going to run through in a little more detail how to wire up one of these. So the super seal connectors, you can get various ones, various sizes. This is a one pin uh, connector. So it's just connecting one wire to one wire. You can get two pin connectors to attach a positive and a negative to another positive and negative. Uh, and they go right up to six pin connectors for, for various uh, power source systems. Um, but yeah, today's video is just going to be showing you exactly how to wire up one of these, a one pin connector, but the exact same principle and process goes for any of the connectors of any size. Okay, so there's a few components to these super seal connectors. Um, you get a female side housing that one there and then a male connector housing there. The male side being the one with the bright yellow seal on there. And yeah, that would just push into the female side. It's got the clip on top on the male side to clip over the, the notch on the female connector housing. Uh, we also have a couple of little yellow rubber gaskets, soft rubber gaskets. Um, these are wider at one end, you might just be able to see it there, narrower at the other, that becomes important in a second as we're uh, in installing this uh, super seal connector. Then there's a couple of metal terminals as well, you get a male terminal which is essentially just a long spike uh, and a female sided connector, you might be able to see that there, it's hollow through the centre. And yeah, inside the connector housing they're just going to plug together like so. Just push one into the other and uh, yeah that will happen inside that connector housing to make the connection on your wire. I've just got a couple of short length of wire here uh, just for illustration purposes to show you how to uh, install this super seal connector but essentially one wire is going to be coming from a power source, a 12 volt power source, it might be a battery or whatever it may be um, and the other side running to a device that needs powering so uh, we can just start with the installation with these parts but you want to take one wire take one of the little rubber gaskets we're just going to pop that over the wire and just slide it on a little way it should be a nice snug fit you can just see with this wire i've just stripped back the first say five millimeters four five millimeters or so if you've got wire strippers you can use those or i just was careful with a pair of scissors and just rolled it around the uh, wire insulation until it cut through and just popped the end off you don't need any sort of specialist wire strippers if you're careful there's one on there then we're going to take we'll take the male terminal so that's the one with a long spike if we just look closely at the back of the terminal there's some flexible metal tabs here might not show up too well on the video there but some small metal flexible tabs what we do is we lie the wire into the slot where those tabs are we just need to slide the rubber seal down into a position where it can sit just inside those metal tabs and the wires in the those tabs as well and what we're going to do is just crimp it all down into place just see how that's laying there so that the narrow end of that yellow seal is sitting with the longest of the flexible metal tabs that's going to crimp around the seal and seal that down tight onto the wire there's some shorter metal tabs little tabs that will crimp onto the wire itself that exposed wire to make a nice clean connection uh, again you can use your crimping tool or if you're careful some pliers just going to now fold over those metal tabs onto the wire first just fold those over give it a good squeeze that should make a nice strong connection and then carefully crimp over the longer metal tabs onto the yellow seal you just got to be a little careful here not to go too hard with this it's just a gentle squeeze so that the seal sits tight against the wire and that's there now that's crimped on formed onto that wire 
it's a nice strong connection and yeah you can just see the longer metal tabs at the back they're just squeezing onto that yellow seal compressing it onto the wire to make a nice waterproof connection there and then the shorter metal tabs they've crimped down tightly onto the exposed wire to make a connection to the wire we can then take the housing which it will go into so this male terminal will go into the female connector housing and it will slot in the back and push through until it reaches a position where it clicks into place now again you may not be able to see it clearly on this video but on the bottom of this terminal there are some small metal fins and they're going to go into the connector facing downwards into the female connector facing downwards you push it in as you push it in that seal is going to be taken into the housing and you may be able to hear the click there we go it's just clicked into place now and as that clicks into place it locks it all into place that's fixed now and the seal's gone into the back of the housing and if i look down the uh, opening you just see their terminal showing in there where it's pushed through so that's one side complete now we can now move on to the second side which is the uh, male connector housing and inside that is going to be the female terminal so it's exactly the same process we just pop on the yellow rubber seal around the wire make sure the wire is stripped back about four to five millimeters lay that within the female terminal and then just take some pliers or get a crimping tool and just gently crimp that into position so you can be fairly firm with crimping the uh, the shorter metal tabs onto the exposed metal give that a good squeeze Feel, yeah that's nice and strong there and then gently form the longer ta uh, tabs the metal tabs over the over the yellow seal the yellow gasket don't go too tight with those but enough just to compress that yellow seal onto the onto the wire again that's a really strong connection there and now we take the male side of the terminal uh, of the connector housing there's an extra step involved in fitting this but again you've got the fins you may just be able to see them there showing on the top of the terminal they go into this connector facing upwards and again you should be able to hear a little click as it gets into position okay it's just clicked into place there and to finish installation on the nose of the connector there's a small red tab you can see it's just sitting up proud we can just push that down as you do that it locks that terminal into the housing so now that's sitting flush with the end of the connector and again that side is now complete the seal's been taken into the housing it's a nice tight fit to the wire and that is essentially it we can now just connect up one side of the connector to the other it's a good tight push with that yellow seal clicks over the house uh, the little fin over the notch on top locks into place and that's the super seal connector now installed on this wire nice strong wire connection and with all those seals compressing around the wire and within the housing here at the join it's a good waterproof connection so there we go guys that's the super seal connector now installed to this wire nice quick and easy to do no specialist tools required and you've got a nice strong and waterproof wire connection that's easy to disconnect and reconnect when required loads of applications for these little things uh, as i mentioned i use them for kayak electrics we can use them for boats cars trucks and loads more applications as well uh, this is just a one pin connector for connecting one wire to one wire but there's two pin connectors three pin four pin five pin six pin and more for numerous applications really great little products nice and easy to find most electrical stores will have these find them online hardware stores and more so it'll be nice and easy to find 
So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was nice and easy to see how to install one of these. If you like the video, make sure you hit like and be sure to subscribe to my channel. There'll be plenty more videos coming on rigging and installation, particularly on kayaks, kayak fishing. Any questions at all, feel free to comment below and I'll do my best to answer. Okay, thanks for watching.